I knew that like my biggest, I'll cry, but I knew that my biggest hurdle would be myself. So you didn't receive any votes in the final tribal, but it's been nearly a year later. How are you feeling about how everything went down now? I feel good. There was like, of course, like watching it back, it's like emotional, just watching it back. But I never like felt this like bitterness of like, what the heck didn't you? Of course it was like hard. And I'm like, I thought you'd vote for me. Same with Carson. It was hard, but it wasn't like, I, I was so happy for Jam Jam that like, that emotion of just like, I was so proud of him. Um, and that was genuine. I, I don't have this bitterness of like, why didn't I get it? Uh, yeah, I wish I would have gotten him like at least a vote, but like really what I was so proud of him. I don't, I, I, I loved the experience. Um, it, it, I'm proud. I'm happy. Now, was there anything that you said or anything that happened in that final tribal that was maybe cut for time and you wish that people knew about? Here's the deal. I don't want to, and I thought about this, like going through the, just like watching it back. Um, okay, here, this is something that I'm going to want to like explain at the end or I'm on every, I don't want to do that. I'm proud of myself. I don't have anything where like, well, if this would have been, and, and th then I'm going to start getting into that zone of like, well, if you would have seen this, I would have gotten a vote or like it's sec there isn't any, like, I'm, I'm grateful. And I don't want to try and like, it happened. Like, there's nothing that I wish would have been shown. I'm, I'm okay with where I'm at. Can I just say that? I just can't stand like, like uh, those people who like go back and like, and then this is what happened and you didn't see this, but this is the way that I don't, it's done. It's done. And I'm grateful. And I don't want to be like stuck in the what ifs or this is what should, I don't care. I, I'm leaving like on a good note. I feel good about myself. I'm proud of myself. I don't need to go back there and I don't. Unless this is what the, which I know like sometimes it's like, well, no, and here, this is what I wish would have been shown. And this is what I was, I don't let it go. I don't want to live like that where I am like, oh, uh, does that make sense? Like, totally I'm, just, I'm okay with what, you know what? Like, okay, to like, do I wish that I would have had like a better awareness of like, okay, my whole emotional thing and like that's not going to appeal to someone like a danny or a brandon like who value more like the strength stuff and like this strictly you know game emotions so like yes i wish i would have like articulated um and not been so emotion with everything because it was almost like a diary um i wish i would have had a better under like understanding of of okay this is my jury like knowing the room so but I like, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't not be that, if that makes sense. It could, I couldn't, it was like the end. I needed to just like get it out. And it, that was like more, that was me. I wasn't able to. At the final five, um, was there ever a plan or any conversations about joining with the other women to vote Jam Jam out? So, I mean, we talked about it, but again, like I didn't, I did not trust Lauren and yeah. I honestly, like, I, I'll just be real. Like I thought I could beat Jam Jam and, and I almost feel like embarrassed saying that now watching it. <laughs> My ideal final three had been Heidi Jam, uh, me, Heidi and Jam. And so it was like, uh, yeah, I always thought like Carson, I'm like Carson's going to win. Carson's going to win. Carson's going to win. And I would like, even tell him that I'm like, you are going to win. He'd be like, be quiet. Um, but I thought like, oh yeah, I can beat Jam. Like, you know, he's like the goofy one and blah, blah. Like, I really thought I could. So Lauren, I looked at Lauren as such a huge, I did a huge threat and she was so respected and she had those two immunities. And I knew like the way that people like, like she was close with Brandon and I knew how they respected that, like the, the whole strength thing and like doing well at challenges. They, they respected that. So I was, I was terrified. Like, I'm like, I don't want Lauren to, to be at the end with me. Now, I know you were really close with Carson, too. So if this had been an older school season of Survivor, there's no fire making challenge. Would you have been able to write Carson's name down? Here's the deal. And I go like, oh, I had been prepping myself since. Oh, my gosh. Like even like early to mid merge, I, I would see how he was good with everybody. He was so social. He I'm like, gosh, you literally know everything. Like everyone loves you. So I, this is how I justified it to myself. I'm like, Carolyn, you are event. And I would say this to jam, like we no, we have to get him. Like, he's good. He's good. And he's like, no, like, 
I would, I was mentally preparing myself and how I would do it is I would say like, Carolyn, she like Carson would be mad at you if you didn't vote for, for him because you are like, he knows he's the best. So that would be the smartest move to get him out. And he's going to understand because he's a good game. Like he knows this game. He understands it. He's, he's not going to take it personally, but I had to like prepare myself because I loved him too much. Does that make sense? So I had been doing that like since early on, like, and I'm like, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. But then it's like, then he's at fire and it's like, it's like, in, I didn't want him to, or excuse me, I didn't want him at the end with me, but then I didn't want him to lose either. So it's like this, the, like the love was so real that it was hard to like, but I would, I was trying to mentally prepare myself, but would I, yeah, I'm going to tell myself, yes, I would have been able to, and yes, I would have, but I loved him too much. Like, can I, yeah, that's my answer. Yeah. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Now, what was your reaction when Heidi finally comes out and says she's going to opt to make fire? And were you worried that that big splashy move was going to secure her the win or anything like that? Here's the deal. Like, it was impressive. Like, and then again, you look at like, um, you look at the jury and their reactions and it was like, I felt like, oh my gosh, did I know or think like she's going to like, I didn't know. I just looked at the, the, the reactions of the jury and that scared the crap out of me. And then like getting like the record, making it in record time and like the whole thing. And like, it was impressive. Like, yes, I was scared after that. Like that, that's ballsy, you know, and watching the jury, they were like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I was impressed. Like, I'm like, <laughs> goodbye. Now, you are so incredibly underrated in this game. Do people underestimate you like that in real life, too? No. So this is the thing. Okay. I would say, like, before I got sober, like, people would, like, not take me seriously or they would. I don't feel, I feel like for the most part, I have not felt like that in years, years. It's, it's, it was a weird feeling because for me, I expected to go out there and people to like, kind of, yeah, like, give me that like side, like side eye. But then once they get to know me, like respect me and, and, and just understand me better from getting to know me on a deeper level. And what I, what didn't happen with everybody is I wasn't able, like not everybody wants to go on survivor and tell their life story. Not everybody wants to go on survivor and share every little secret. So it's like, but that's how I connect with people. I can't just do like small talk, like, so like, uh, or only talk strategy. I can't, I can't talk strategy if I don't know you. And so, but not everybody wanted to go there. So that's what I wasn't prepared for. And I feel like once people know me on a deeper level, there is that understanding. There is that respect. But I, not everyone wants to do that out there. So I know I'm used to that, like, probably, you know, 15 years ago. But, like, for the most part in my everyday life, it's like it, it, people get to know me. But I wasn't really able to do that with everyone out there. Now, Franny had said some really nice things about you during the after show, how, you know, watching you be authentically yourself is going to change how she moves forward in her life. What was it like hearing all of that and all of the other positive feedback I'm sure you're getting? That's what I wanted to do. Like, first and foremost, be myself, be watching the show. There has not been a lot of people that I can relate to there. I don't relate to like the game bots. I like the people who like share their personal stories. I watch survivor for that, for the growth, for the, of course I like the gameplay, but it's the people who make the show. It's the stories. It's the, the, the bonds. And it, so that's what it, I, I wanted to be able to be, um, be myself. And yes, hope that like somebody else who watches can be like, okay, yeah, I can relate to that person because there has not been a lot of people that I could relate to. And I wanted, I wanted to feel like I can play this game too. You know what I'm saying? And that was the thing is like, I, I just had such a mission to like go out there, be myself and like, I can do this and be myself. And there is no one way to play this game. And I'm like, I, I was so frustrated. I was watching and like people, um, if, if you're emotional or crying like that always just, bothered me the people that would get like hate for that and it's like how the hell do you play this game and not cry how do you not like oh and i feel like it's almost like reward not rewarded sometimes but it's like yeah like i can just separate good i can't okay and i'm okay with that and i think i did a good job of like 
I can, I just need a minute sometimes to just like take a step back. And then I can like, because like, yeah, I think a lot of people thought like, even with Carson and jam after they left me out of the, the Franny boat, like, Oh, and she's never going to get back. No, I just needed to collect. I needed to feel, get it out, collect myself. And then I like, I moved on and I continued working with them. Like sometimes I just need a minute, but that's human because my bonds with them were real. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Oh, I love it. And I love that I was able to be myself. And I love just the response that I get from people saying that they can relate to me. That's what I wanted. That's what that was. I won. Sorry. <laughs> now you had me rolling last night when you guys are just like cruising up to the new beach and you're just screaming on the boat. Do you normal? Are you that animated in real life? Are you always yeah. walking through life screaming? And, and it's crazy. Cause I remember like, do, um, you know, they want you to be quiet sometimes, but like, I didn't realize I screamed that much. And it's cool because like people watch my family, my friends, like I remember saying like, I didn't think I had that many, like I, people have always said I'm very expressive, but just watching it and seeing my friends and family and even coworkers, like that is totally Carolyn. Like there is no, I know like people will say like, she can't be like that in real life. There's no way like she's just putting it on for the camera or like, no, like this is me. You know what I'm saying? And I was able to just be me, let it all hang out. Yeah. I get excited about, oh my gosh. Like I saw like my view in this hotel and I'm like, yes. Like I just, I experience like every little thing and I have a lot of excitement. I like, I feel every high and I feel every low. So is there anything you yes. think anything you think you could have done differently to maybe come out on top? Yes, that's it. May I have that's it. This is the government's final line safety in the record. Please be advised, we are going to be conducting a final alarm test of our oh family fire alarm system. Do you hear that? There's a fire alarm? Really quickly before that happens, would you ever play the game again? Yeah, yeah, or heck yeah, sorry, I didn't like, yeah. Yes, like I like, and I don't want to be, and I'm going to pay, and I'm going to do puzzles and prepare more. And like, no, I'm like, yeah, yes, yes. Anything you do differently on a second time out? No, no, I'm kidding. I, no, I, I no, good. Like, I might, no, I'm just going to say no. I'm going to keep being me and being okay with me. I don't want to be like, and I'm going to do this and I'm going to prepare more and I'm going to, yeah, I'll do what I did and I'll maybe like learn a little bit and whatever. But I'm proud of myself and I want to stay on that note. I don't want to, I need to, no. That's it.